What's going on with you, YouTube? Boss Man Pigs coming back at you with another one. Coming at you on this Tuesday, May 14th. We got another little, little two-game slate playoffs, man. You know, getting it in. Games every day. It's, you know, we down to the, to the semifinals, down to nitty-gritty. So, only a couple games every day. But, hey, let, let's get this money. Uh, first, I'm going to start with a brief recap yesterday. Man, very unfortunate. One or two, guys. I ain't going to lie to y'all. This, this right here was a very frustrating one and two, too, man. For real. We had, um, yeah, we had Luca. Well, for the first game, we had Evan Mobley over 15 and a half points. He did his thing. He cashed. He ended with like 19, I believe. But then frustrating, man. Luca, I, I don't even recognize dude, man. I don't watch dude all year. Keep in mind, this is a guy that scores 70 points, y'all. But, yeah, he just, I, I guess he, like I said yesterday, he just hurt, man. I, I've i never seen him go this many games and, you know, not have 30 points. You feel me? But, hey, that, he, and bottom line, he ended only two points short. On literally only a bucket short, it had plenty of opportunities. And Josh Giddy, like I said, I don't too much like putting the bet in the coach's hands, but that's what I did. I thought maybe something may change because, you know, he got in. He he hit like the first, I want to say like the first or second shot of the game. You know, so I'm like, cool, he only needs seven here. He already got two, so five more, let's get it. Then boom, he hit a three. And then he came out, and I was really expecting him to cash it, you know, first thing, second half. But, man, dude, he got benched to start the second half. I'm like, dang, that coach is not messing with Giddy. Then he got in, believe it or not, just to inbounds the ball a couple times at the end of the game. So then he did get in like another minute or two, but he didn't even take a shot, so. Very frustrating, man. Very frustrating. Literally, if he would have paid three or four minutes, shot one or two shots, I know he would have got it done. So, you know, I know in the comments they say he doesn't have defense. I understand that. But, like, yeah, Josh Giddy and Coach, they, they got smoke or something because that guy ain't getting no PT. But, yeah, man, let me go on and move on. Frustrating one and two. We will get it back today, guys. Trust me, man. But, excuse me. But, yeah, we're going to go on with the picks. We're going to start with the pick. This is a pick, man, we've been rolling with. Hey, we've been rolling with this through the ups and downs. It mainly been ups. It was only one down, you feel me? But we're going back to OB Toppin. And that's eight and a half points. And, y'all, I just feel like this is absolutely too low. You feel me? Look, he's clear for the last got five games. And, you know, I feel like this prop should be like about 11 and a half. At least ten and a half, you feel me? So eight and a half, that's a major discount. He's cast four of the last five games. Um Let's see what Vegas has to say about it. Vegas has it. Some books have a couple books have it at negative one thirty for the over. One book has it at negative one ten. Then they had the under all the way at plus money, plus 104, plus 100. And then that one book has it at negative 110. So, yes, heavily favored over. Hit rate is amazing. He's went over four of the last five games and eight of the last ten games. So, yeah, man, this is everything you'd like to see. And he's went over six of the seven last games. So, yeah, this prop literally checks all the boxes, man. It's everything you would like to see in the prop. Like... The eye test, he's been clowning. You know, head-to-head, -head, he's been killing it. The hit rate is amazing. Only thing that, that, that could ex, ex, uh, scare you would be the minutes. But like I say, he, he has been balling. Then, too, he's back in New York. You know, usually I like role players a little bit better at the crib, but he actually used to play for New York, so he may even play better at, on the road at New York, you know, so... Yeah, this is the first prop I'm rolling with. OB topping over eight and a half points. I, I think he gets it done. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he gets it done relatively easily on this first run of action. He can definitely do that. But yeah, let's get, uh, let me move on to my second pick. 
We're going to stay in the same game. And I'm rolling with uh, Isaiah Hark Harkenstein. But we are rolling with his under, though. And we, we rolling with his under um, rebounds and assist. Yeah, 14. No, here it goes. Yep, there we go. 14 and a half rebounds and assists. You see he's only cleared it one of the last five games. Yeah, he's only cleared it one of the last five games. So then let's look a little bit look a little bit deeper. And yeah, they had under some books have it what high as negative one thirty five. So yeah, it it could potentially be bumped down any second to fourteen on uh prize picks or whatnot. They had an over all the way at plus 102, plus 100. So, yeah, I'm feeling real good about this prop. As you know, um, Precious Achua will get, get a lot of clock today, and he's a good rebounder as well. And we all know the minutes Josh Hardy is on the board. So, you know, that right there could account for two guys stealing a lot of rebounds from – and then, two it's just he got five – he got five assists – uh, he's been averaging five assists, but he actually got eight assists one game. So, I believe that has his assist prop bumped a little too high. So, you know, I'm feeling like it's the under. It's just going to go under. As you can see, this hit rate is absolutely amazing. Now, these, some of these games were with Mitchell Robinson, so he was splitting more of his minutes. But now he was splitting with Precious Achua. So, you know, it, not the same thing, but, you know, I – um. I still believe he goes under. Like I say, it has a 90% hit rate for the last 10 games. Last five games, 80%. He's went under for the last five. Then head to head, he's went under seven of the last 10. He has went under uh, the last two games. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about Harkenstein uh, not getting this done or getting this done, not getting the 14 rebounds and assists. Because, like I said, it's just he's going to be playing tough defense. He's going to be boxing out. You know what I'm saying? And then that'll leave Josh Hart and Precious Achoo will come through there, scoop them boards. And, you know, he just hasn't been getting this many boards. You feel me? He's a great rebounder, but just not in this series. It hasn't been happening. So, you know, hopefully that continues today. And my third pick. Man, I was a little torn, man, because, man, I was eating on this all year, but my guy been letting us down lately, but, you know. Now, I, I, start, I, I thought about Josh Hart's rebounds, but, you know, I'm thinking with OG and Anobi out, maybe Josh Hart may have more defensive responsibilities, so he won't be able to fly around like he was doing previously to OG getting hurt. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave uh, Josh Hart's rebounds alone, but. Man, I got to go back to Jokic, man. We got to – hey, man, sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? Now, we did catch him on one of these down games. I don't know if it was the last game. We caught him on one of these reds. Hey, I think it was this game right here. So, you know, he did, I see he did have another down rebounding game. I do expect him to bounce back, man. He, he usually doesn't like – had very low stats in one category two games in a row. Like, if he scored 10, he may score 30 the next game. So, he only had seven boards. I'm thinking he may get 14 to 15. Then, two, uh, Minnesota has been keeping him on the perimeter, but Denver won their last two games. So, apparently, that that's that's not the move. So I'm thinking he may, they may do a little something, and he may be more closer to the basket. And with that be saying, he at home, you know, Rudy hasn't been playing too well. Kind of wanted to go over on the root, I mean, under on Rudy, but uh, just don't want to get burnt by under today. I'm by by that type of under, I'm just not feeling it, you know. But yeah, we're gonna roll with Jokic's rebounds, cause like I say, that's our old faithful right there. You feel me? It is a very tough rebounding matchup, but he has got it done like twice this year. Oh, 
let's see what Vegas says. Yeah, Vegas has the over at negative 120, negative 115, negative 113, and the under at negative 113, negative 105, negative 110. So, pretty much a coin flip, or it just may be slightly favored our way. As you see, he's cleared his seven of the last ten games. Two of them against being against Minnesota. He hasn't cleared twice against Minnesota, and he's cleared twice. So, you know, hopefully he can clear again. Head to head, he has not got it done that much against these guys, but I'm, I'm feeling like he will today. And Minnesota is tough in rebounds, but like I said, that last game, he pretty much just kind of dominated Rudy, but I, just the balls just wasn't bouncing his way. Good thing we didn't have his rebound prop last game, but I feel like he gets it done today, y'all. But yeah, that's my three props I'm rolling with. I'll be topping more points. Isaiah Harkenstein, less than 14 and a half rebounds and assists. And Nikola Jokic, over 12 and a half boards. Man, good luck, man. And appreciate all the support, y'all. Let's, man, let's get this dub today, man. Let me know what y'all, if y'all telling or fading. Or let me know some of y'all favorite props in the uh, comments, man. But like I say, appreciate it. I'm out. Boss Man Picks. Good luck.